Let's start with Chewy. Chewy's one of the things that prompted me to write the book, quite frankly. I was, about a year and a half ago, I was speaking in Nashville, Tennessee. Mark, I speak at a lot of conferences all over the world. And I don't know, a thousand, ballroom full of people, a thousand to 1,200 people, something like that. And I was speaking about elevating the client experience to stand apart from the competition for this large company. And so I was about 20 minutes into the presentation. And I said, as an aside, I saw on LinkedIn this morning, this woman posted about her cat. And I said, it's really interesting. I said, she had a standing order with Chewy for cat food and it came every month. This month, the cat food came. She called Chewy on the phone and said, hey, my cat has died. I want to return the cat food. And the rep at Chewy said, absolutely not. You cannot return that cat food. And of course, now the audience is like, Rrr. but the rep went on and said, we want you to donate it to a shelter and we'll give you 100% credit on the bill. The audience just went, ooh, cool. And I said, but that's only part of the story. I said, the rest of the story is three days later, she got a bouquet of flowers from the rep at Chewy and a condolence card. And at that instant, wow. Art, at that instant, in the middle of the audience, a woman stands up and screams, that was my cat. I posted that on late this morning. That's an amazing story. I love it. And, and so I just stopped and I just stopped. I said, ladies and gentlemen, what does this tell us about advocacy? And the whole audience starts ch chanting, we're switching to Chewy. We're switching to Chewy. If you need any more evidence, there's evidence right there. But let me give you another one. You ask about Chick-fil-A. I knew True and Kathy. Of course, she's passed away now from skin cancer, but a wonderful guy and, uh, had, and lots of great conversations uh, with that organization and with him. But he always said to me, Richard, I'm not in the chicken business. Everybody thinking about chicken sandwich business. We're in the people business. And he said, we're always going to be kind and gracious. And when, if you really think about our country, the United States, the reality is, what is the number one per revenue per store of any fast food chain in the United States? And it's Chick-fil-A. Now, keep in mind, Chick-fil-A is closed 52 days a year. So that basically means that November 15th, they close until the end of the year, if you want to do it a different way, not just Sundays. Now, but yet they're beating everybody else that's open, many of them, 24 hours a day, 365. Why is that? Well, the chicken sandwiches are good. Okay, I'll grant you that. But I've gone down the line and interviewed people. Why are you at Chick-fil-A? They're so gracious. They're always nice here. They treat us good. They're good to the kids. They're always polite. Where are we as a country? My pleasure, please, and thank you is driving the number one revenue in the fast food. It's like anybody that doubts that level of emotional connection does not drive revenue. People feel a connection to Chick-fil-A because why? People are kind and gracious at Chick-fil-A. It just doesn't illustrate it for you. But just think about that. Please, thank you, and my pleasure is driving record revenue. Imagine what would happen in your business if you took these 100 proven ways to acquire and keep clients for life in the book and just put some of them into your business, most of which costs no money, changes the game.